bullet damage, or in this case, rigid body damage. So one rigid body actually hitting you with some force, has to be with some force, mind you, will cause damage. Now, here I have rigid body cause damage, and this is why I made this one compared to Rocket. Okay, Rocket was very complex, and it had to do with a lot of particle emitter. And again, um, I'm not, I wasn't a big fan of sprites as of yet. I'll learn sprites a little bit later, but right now, I want to learn how if something hits you, it hurts you. So, this was interesting. Did I get anything out of it? Not really. So I'm putting it away. What I looked at uh, for the actual damage was the machine gun. Uh, so I didn't I didn't carry that script over, but there was a thing in machine gun called apply damage in the script. It was a horribly complex script, and all I got out of there was the apply damage. So I wrote this one. So how to make a new script is like this. You go create JavaScript. That's what you need to do. Then I'm going to double click on this one. And this is what you need to type. So take the second to type that in a new um, Java window. I would pause the video. All right. So that should be done now. And let me explain what it does now. Because I hate when... People just give you a script and you're like, yeah, this does stuff. Okay, so right here is my variable. And I could type in any variable I want here based upon because it's a variable that passes through the system and it's editable on the side once I assign it to the bullet. Okay. Instant kill. Why is it called that? Well, actually what I could do is attach it to maybe 200 and it would cause it to die as soon as I hit it. That's why it's called instant kill. And what it's looking for is a function on collision. And basically that's stating that the rigid body, it's looking for a rigid body collision here. Uh, this is the function it's going to be called. Function on collision enter. That's the name of the function. Then what happens is it looks for a collision and sends a message to the system, apply damage. This is important that it says apply damage. Damage is over here. It's going to be two. And then when I send a message options don't require receiver, that means it's basically saying it will not annoyingly put a message on the screen saying there's damage, 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 damage. If I didn't have that part right there, it would constantly say, um, it would pause it. It would pause the game. Or if I had a different statement in there, it would say apply damage a million times on the screen. Okay, so I don't want to put that out there. I don't want to have anything to do with that. Now, <clears throat> why is apply damage so good? Well, let's look at this. Health. In health, I have a thing called function apply damage. So now this cause rigid body damage is shooting a message every time I get hit that to apply damage to my health and health gets applied damage and if it's hit blah 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 and then it'll go through the stages now let's play it let's go to bullet and the, go to the rigid body and again if I wanted it higher I could put it here I'll leave it alone Okay, so I got this thing, it's shooting spheres at me. And as the spheres hit me, you can see that my life force is draining. And it's hard to get anywhere because there's so many of these being launched at me. Very sweet. Essentially, that's it. Um, now you can explore with the fact that it can cause you damage. Um, and it is a rigid body collision, you should probably explore at what rate does the collision need to occur in order to hurt you. Because a static box with this on there will not hurt you. Um, there has to be some kind of force involved there. Okay. 
which probably leads me into AI or something like that in that nature in the next coming videos. Not saying it might be AI, I'm just saying that it could be AI. So I hope you enjoyed the series on making a health bar and having it drain. Please add this to your um, assignment. So I guess I should make a separate assignment. All right, that's it for this video. Go on to the next.